So I, I don't have an opening statement. Uh, if you have questions or if the chairman uh, wants to make an opening statement, you're welcome to do that. We'll just answer questions. Sure. Okay. Is it the thought that you're going to be able to do both the 7% income tax cut and the 50% small business tax cut? I would say uh, we're continuing to, to look at what our options are. Uh, I think it's probably fair to say that we're thinking about a more modest blending of the two rather than uh, simple math of adding. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the challenge with doing both full strength Senate and House proposals on the tax package is that it costs uh, money that we don't have. And so you, to raise that money becomes controversial, uh, not only uh, amongst the taxpayers that have to provide those funds, but amongst the members who are, are considering how that would impact our tax policy for the state. And, you know, our goal is to make a stronger state because we change tax policy, so it becomes a harder argument when you're raising one tax to lower another one. There are rationales for that in a variety of circumstances, but they, are, uh, they take more explanation and more analysis than maybe we have in the time frame right now to, to, uh, to complete. And it doesn't sound like... So it's going to be probably a more modest package than simply adding the two together. It doesn't sound from the numbers that were presented today that you're getting a whole lot of extra money to play with. So where would the extra money come from for a larger tax? Stay tuned. This is where news stories come from. <laughs> We're working on that, and we have hope to have more, uh, you know, more report in the near future. Are you comfortable with, and, and we discussed this before, but are you comfortable with using one-time money to fund a permanent tax cut? Well, the question of what we do with one-time resources, which is a substantial question now, especially as of today, uh, is a very important one, and one that um, we need to address very carefully. And I, I think both the House and the Senate have taken the approach of using up any one-time money in the first year of our plans. You'll notice that's the, a feature in both the Senate and the House version of the tax package. And so uh, that, I believe, uh, addresses the, the concern that you might hit a, a revenue wall in the next year than if you use one-time funds. If you use it in the first year and have a plan for what you're going to do in the second and third years, uh, then that problem isn't, is uh, addressed. And I think that's what we've done up to this point, and, and we have to keep that in mind. Now that we have additional funds, that doesn't mean we can do necessarily a deeper permanent tax reduction for that very reason. So as you heard today, how much money, how much more money do you have? Then uh, what? Base, just you just have to have a base before you can base, answer that question. The Senate, the Senate budget being the base, uh, how much, I mean, based on what you just heard? Uh, I would say, based on what the testimony was that we heard from OBM today, that we now have the possibility of a temporary income tax refund, refund in a di you know, that would play for, for one year for the remainder of those funds. That's what's being recommended by the executive. And we'll, we'll, we'll review that and peruse that uh, recommendation and also run the numbers to see if that's how we interpret the, and it depends a little on who's, whether we take OBM's forecasts and, and, and LSCs or some blend thereof, right? So you want to jump in here? Yeah, I've been talking.